Underwater motion capture is basically impossible, only being pulled off by the likes of James Cameron and the geniuses at Corridor. But has a new AI powered motion tracking software called Move One that only uses a single iPhone become the solution to this problem? One iPhone, you might be saying? We tested Move One and we're super happy with the results. So we're gonna take it to the pool and take it to the extreme. What happens when all you do is press record and allow the software to do the rest? Today, we're gonna find out. The first step was finding out if this whole thing was even possible. So we ran some tests in a shallow pool. The difficulty here was finding a way for me to A pose to calibrate the tracking data. We tried many different ways, but in the end, the results weren't terrible, but definitely not ideal. I don't think we can get you standing straight up. So I think the answer is, we need a deeper pool. We knew it was possible. All we needed was a deep enough pool to do calibration and record. So, we did just that. Got a bigger pool. The plan was simple. Set up a holder for our phone, now in an underwater case, make an A-pose underwater, then act a captured movement for 10 seconds. Move one was still picking up my movements. All we had to do was stabilize the camera and time to start the recording with my breath hold. Oh, and on top of all of this, our booked hour in the pool was almost over. I just uploaded from underwater. <laughs> that was so perfect. Like, if this isn't track it, I'm shocked. Well, we did what we could. The only thing left to do was to come back to the office and review the captured footage. Moment of truth, Austin. We will see how well Move One did with our underwater footage. I'm honestly so nervous. Me too. I mean, I'm still, I've still got chlorine in my nose. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it worked! It, it straight up worked! On the first it straight up worked! On the first one. This is actually amazing! This is sick! It's perfect! I'm speechless. It's I can't perfect. believe that it works so it's well. Perfect. Oh, sorry. Yeah, come sorry. Here, come here. Here. So this is, it was shaking too much, and then I... You held for the I next held it one. for the See, next I one. See, I fall through the floor. See, look, I held it, and look, it looks better now. So here, look at this one, though. Look at this one. Look at this one. It looks good. He likes it. He likes it. The next step was to pass this off to our animator and UE5 specialist Serhi and see what he could come up with. Halfway through recording this video, both Josh and Austin decided to go to New York and somewhere in Europe. So we're going to FaceTime them and show them what we made with the underwater mocap. What's up? How's it going? Hello, it's Josh here from Scotland. Are you ready to see some, uh, some magic? some mocap magic for the first scene because we shot the mocap underwater we thought it's only right if we put you underwater and for this we put you under the sea you ready what the <laughs> So we actually have a bit of a surprise is we did one more scene just for fun because I feel like the underwater is like low hanging fruit. That was too easy. We put our heads together and we thought, why not space? No way. Okay. These are sick. This is actually amazing. I remember making that pose. Oh, these worked out so good. These worked out so, so good. Oh, that is sweet. How much re-rigging did that take, Serhi? A lot. It took a lot of time. As much as it was fun to shoot underwater using Move One, it was also really tricky because it's almost like their system wasn't able to track us in the same way that they can when they're not underwater. So it was tricky and Serhi here basically retargeted everything. Um, and we're back. I'm back from Europe. <laughs> back from New York. I'm far more cultured than I used to be. So the tracking worked with an asterisk. We learned a valuable lesson. Water moves. Huh? I think there were a few things we didn't consider. The water was moving the camera quite a bit. That means that me 
in the motion tracking data was doing this the entire time. So even though the tracking was good, the like X, Y needed to be fixed, let's say. Thanks to Serhi, unfortunately, he had a lot of work on his hands, um, but otherwise I thought it went really, really well. If you're doing this, strap the phone down, anchor it so that it will not be manipulated by the movement of the pool's water. In the first pool, we had a ladder that was perfectly placed mm -hmm. to have a very small like clap to a phone, but in the bigger pool, it didn't have a ladder. So I think if we had a different clamp set up with a lot less movement, we would have had a lot less problems. Move one is not made for underwater motion tracking. The fact that it did work underwater is absolutely insane. We definitely found the limits of move one. I'm glad that we broke the software to see how far we could take the software. Anyway, to our animator, UE5 specialist, Serhi, we are so sorry for making you do all of the retracking. Well, we were away on vacation having wonderful times. Pretty rude of us, actually. Underwater motion tracking doesn't have to be just for James Cameron. Solved. Easy as that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.